Hey guys, welcome back to Halo Canon. Sorry I haven't been able to cover Gamescom as thoroughly as I did E3 or other events, new job and all that. Moving forward, a lot of new info has come our way since E3 regarding the Master Chief Collection, so let me sum it all up for you and give everyone a clear picture of what to expect. As we have heard before, the MCC will feature an updated Halo 2 campaign. At Gamescom this past week, we got a new look at the remastered campaign and a much better look at the Elites in-game. They certainly look good, though I'm not too keen on the new art direction. With Halo CEA, 343 decided to follow what Bungie had started in Halo Reach and give each Elite rank a unique armor set. For some reason, 343 has decided to stay truer to the original art direction for Halo 2 Anniversary. As I am a canon nut, I hope you guys would understand why I'd rather see a more CEA-like direction to the updated enemy models. But that's a personal gripe when we really get down to it. We also got to see a few of the updated weapons, and... Boy, do they look beautiful. Look at that wonderful beam rifle. As with CEA, we will also have a feature to switch to classic mode. However, contrary to what we were told at E3, it seems that we will not be able to switch during cinematics. Oh well. Speaking of switching, when you switch between new and classic, the audio will switch too. Just as with CEA, 343 re-recorded the music and weapon sounds for Halo 2 Anniversary. With CEA, you could choose whether to play the campaign with classic or updated music, but only from the menu. With Halo 2 Anniversary, you can now switch between the two with the Options button, just like the graphics. If that applies to weapons, I'm not entirely sure. Also included with Halo 2 Anniversary are a number of campaign skulls. The original Halo 2 featured 15 skulls, but with Anniversary we now have 30. Known skulls include Bandana, meaning infinite ammo and grenades, Grunt Funeral, grunts explode like plasma grenades, Pinata, enemies are guaranteed to drop grenades when dead, and Bonded Pair, a skull that gives you 100% damage boost for 60 seconds if your co-op partner dies. These are pre-order skulls, but they are also timed exclusives, meaning that they will be made available to everyone eventually. One site reports the date is 12 12 14, but 343 hasn't officially commented just yet. And of course we have the Terminals. To keep it short, they will be covering the backstory of Thalvatum, the Arbiter. See my trailer breakdown for more details. I've talked about it before, but it's worth mentioning again, along with Halo 2 Anniversary's treatment, Blur Studios is also producing two new cinematics that will play before Halo CEA and after Halo 4, that tie into Halo 5's story. We know that they will focus on Agent Locke and feature a little bit of Fel, but that's all for now. Along with the campaigns, the MCC will feature a new multiplayer experience. Featuring every map from Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 ever, including the PC ports, the MCC is also getting six updated maps. Maps we know of include Ascension, Coagulation, Zanzibar, Lockout, and Sanctuary. And perhaps the best news, in my humble opinion at least, no midship. Yeah, yeah, bring on the hate. I like midship as much as the next guy, but we already got two versions in the MCC. Now like with the CEA maps for Halo Reach, the remade maps will have new names. It's been revealed that Ascension Anniversary will be called Zenith, and Sanctuary will be called Shrine. All the new maps will have additional features, such as Zenith's new shield around the center satellite dish, and Shrine's waterfalls, to name a few. Coagulation will have a heavy Forge focus, with many fans now calling it the new Forge World. An in-depth look at Shrine was seen at Gamescom, with an interview with the map's designer, Max Hoberman. According to Hoberman, the interactive elements of Shrine, namely the waterfall buttons, will be movable and removable via Forge. I repeat, you will be able to move or remove the interactive elements of Shrine and other maps. Or so Hoberman thinks. He didn't seem 100% sure at the time, so take that with a grain of salt. The six maps will also feature new weapons like the Assault Rifle and new vehicles such as the Gun Goose. All these maps, over 100 dedicated to multiplayer alone, will be playable across numerous playlists in the MCC. Each game, Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 Anniversary, will have their own dedicated playlists, in addition to a number of cross-game hoppers and one rotating playlist. The final lineup for these playlists isn't set just yet, but expect most of them to have a number of mixed game types. For the hardcore fans who watch this channel, good news! The MCC's matchmaking will have a skill rating system identical to Halo 2's. This likely means that you'll have a rank for each playlist, with your highest rank appearing as your global rank. Possibly. This part isn't exactly confirmed right now, but that's how it looks like it'll work. Naturally, multiplayer will allow you to customize your Spartan like with past Halo games, but how customization will work across five different games isn't exactly clear. 
Yeah, you'll probably be able to pick options that are local to each game, choosing colors for CE, two colors for Halo 2, armor and colors for Halo 3, and so on, but it's not yet clear what the customization menus will look like and how unlocks will work. However, a brave soul did sneak a recording of Halo 2 Anniversary's customization menu out. From what is shown, you can choose from colors, emblems, avatar, featuring some stand-in UI, service tags, and your clan tag. If anyone wanted clans back, it's coming back, for the MCC at least. When the Master Chief Collection releases in November, launching alongside it will be a new Halo app called the Halo Channel. Think of it as Halo Waypoint 2.0. It will act as the launch point for the Nightfall series, access to innumerable Halo videos and resources, and countless other features. It's also supposed to have a beautiful Twitch integration feature, allowing for easy, stylized streaming of live matches. I can already see the MLG types wetting their pants with joy. Of course, the MCC will also be your ticket to the Halo 5 beta. For more on that, see the What We Know Halo 5 Guardians video. Well, that's all for now, folks. This has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.